Hi everyone, let's talk about applying Eisenstein's criterion to cyclotomic polynomials. We'll start with the definition of irreducibility. Let's say f is a polynomial with integer coefficients. This is the notation for that. And we'll say that this polynomial is irreducible over the rational numbers if there do not exist non-constant polynomials g and h such that f equals to g h and g and h are uh, polynomials with rational coefficients. So um, this is the definition of an, of an irreducible polynomial f and in general irreducibility is hard to prove. It's hard to prove but Eisenstein gives us a sufficient criterion that works sometimes. It, it won't work in all cases but it does give us um, a technique that allows us to prove that certain polynomials are irreducible. So suppose f of x is equal to a n x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 all the way through to a 1 x plus a naught and that these are all integer coefficients. Then this is irreducible over the rationals if there exists a prime p such that we have to have several conditions hold. First of all, p has to divide a0, a1, all the way through to a n minus 1. Secondly, p cannot divide a n. And thirdly, p square cannot divide a0. So we're not going to prove this, we're just going to use it, use it on cyclotomic polynomials. So uh, let me define for you uh, what a cyclotomic polynomial is. For a prime p, the pth, the pth, um, cyclotomic polynomial, it looks like this. It's, I believe this is a capital phi. This is equal to x to the p. Actually, let me go in the other order. Um, this is 1 plus x plus x squared all the way through to x to the p minus 1. So we, it's clear that we can't apply Eisenstein immediately, like not directly, because the, these coefficients are all just one. So that's not, it's not gonna help with in terms of finding a prime. No prime divides one. But we can bring in uh, an insight, which is that f can be factored if and only if, so f of x can be factored if and only if f of x plus 1 can be factored, which means f of x by contrapositive is irreducible if and only if f of x plus 1 is irreducible. And, and 1 can be replaced by, by any other rational number, but 1 is going to be the most useful thing for us here. So let's work with f of x plus 1. Let's determine what that is. It's 1 plus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 squared plus all the way through to x plus 1 to the power of p minus 1. And this is a geometric series. So for uh, as long as we're not dividing by 0, this is equal to x plus 1 to the power of p minus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 which is equal to x plus 1 to the power of p minus 1 over x and we'll take care of the x equal to 0 um, uh, case in just a moment 
but by the binomial theorem, this is equal to p choose 1, just p choose 1 here, because we're, we're subtracting the minus 1, so we don't need p choose 0, and we're dividing by x, plus p choose 2x, plus p choose 3x squared, all the way through to p choose 1, x to the p minus 2 plus p choose p uh, okay I've run out of space here so let me go back a bit p choose p minus 1 x to the p minus 2 plus p choose p x to the p minus 1 okay and now we're going to use the fact that p divides p choose 1, p choose 2, all the way through to p choose p minus 1. p does not divide p choose p, which is equal to 1. And p square does not divide p choose 1, which is equal to p. So Eisenstein is satisfied. And that proves that the um, cyclotomic polynomial for the prime p is irreducible. And I just want to address the x equals to zero um, part for briefly. And that is okay as well because f of zero plus one, so uh, we're subbing in zero for x. If we sub it in here, we get that this is equal, we, we, we get p terms equal to one, so it's just equal to p. And if we put it in here, then we also get that it's equal to p because all other terms cancel out. We have a factor of zero there. So we just get p choose one and it still works in that case. So this expression that we have here, um, it does, it, it's the general expression for f of x plus one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.